How can you set goals for your life if you're feeling stuck with where you're at currently? Maybe you just have no idea what direction you want to go in. Maybe you don't even know what you want and you're watching this video in the hopes that I give you something that can help you decide on a direction so that you can set goals and live an extraordinary life. Well, if any of that sounds great to you, then you're gonna want to check out the tips that I have to share with you. Let's get right to it. The first thing that has to be said is if you currently feel stuck with where you're at in life right now, it is completely okay. You don't have to have everything figured out. But if you're watching this video, then obviously you want help deciding what that next step is going to be for you. And I say deciding what that next step is going to be because whatever you decide to do from today on, in the next week, the next month, the next year, it's a choice that you will make. It's important to understand you don't have to do anything. Nobody made you click on this video and watch it. And if they did, then you're probably not enjoying the video right now. But nobody made you click it, right? Nobody is going to make you improve your life. Nobody is going to make you write down your goals. You're a free spirit. You decided to click here. You decided to watch this video. You decided that you want more out of your life. And I remember in my early 20s, that's when I felt stuck in my own life. I'm 26 now. But in my early 20s, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I was actually making great money at a sales job, but I was unfulfilled in the other areas of my life. I was in debt, I was overweight, I didn't have too many friends, the relationships that I did have, I didn't put much effort into because I didn't know how to build strong, lasting relationships, and I felt completely stuck. And I didn't know the first thing that I should do. But let me tell you what I did. And the first step that I recommend to you if you're looking to get yourself unstuck from where you're currently at. It's something called a keystone habit. I read this book by Charles Duhigg called The Power of Habit, which I'll put in the description down here for you. I listened to the audiobook version. But Charles, in his book, talks about one of the most powerful habits of all, which is the keystone habit. And a keystone habit is a habit that you adopt that in turn changes every other aspect of your life. And I said to myself, okay, well, if I want to get unstuck from where I'm at right now, then I have to adopt one of these keystone habits. So the first one that I put my time and attention towards was fitness. Working out and being conscious of your health is a keystone habit. I was heavily overweight, 250 pounds, and really anything that I did was better than what I was currently doing. So I started to lightly go to the gym. I started to watch the kinds of foods that I was eating. And I even started to adopt something called intermittent fasting that really helps me to stay lean and it helps me to really enjoy the foods that I want without becoming obese like I used to be. And I'll link to that video up here for you because I made a video all about it. And after I started putting more focus on this one keystone habit, this one area of my life, it helped me to put focus on my finances and it helped me to get myself out of debt. It helped me to improve my relationships because now that my health was in check or at least I was working on it, you don't have to immediately get the result. Once you start taking action towards a keystone habit, you immediately start seeing results. I started to have more energy to give to the relationships in my life. I started to move up professionally in my career because I had more energy, I had a better attitude, all because I started taking care of my body and I started focusing on my health. The first thing I'd recommend to you is to adopt a keystone habit. Waking up early is a keystone habit. Working out is a keystone habit. Reading books, the kinds of nonfiction personal development books that will actually help you to improve is a keystone habit. So start doing something that will impact every other area of your life. Because it's okay if you don't know what you want right now. But if you just continue going on in the same fashion, then that's where it becomes a problem. Because that's a choice that you're making. To continue doing the same thing without getting a result is the actual definition of insanity. 
So adopt something new that you can put your time into, preferably a keystone habit that will improve your life. And I can guarantee you, once you start taking steps to improve your life, you'll decide on the way what you want to do. I had no idea that I wanted to create a YouTube channel. I had no idea that I would love teaching people sales at the company that I work for. I had no idea that I would love training people on leadership. And I had no idea that I'd be making videos for you to help you to live a better life. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Brandon Eastman, and on this YouTube channel, we talk about how to improve your life, how to perform at your peak so that you can amplify your own success in your personal life and professional life. So hit that like button down here if you haven't already, if you're finding this helpful so far, and be sure to hit the subscribe button so you see every video that we post every single day. Monday. The second thing that I'd recommend for you if you're feeling stuck right now in your life when it comes to setting goals is to start trying new things. Ask yourself the question right now, what do I enjoy doing? What is the thing that when I do it, it puts me into a state of flow? It makes it so it seems that time is passing by very quickly when I do this one thing. Ask yourself that. And what is that one thing that when you put your time into it, it makes you feel good? This could be a hobby, it could be a passion, it could be something constructive, it could be some form of contribution that helps other people. Maybe it's serving at a soup kitchen or it's helping the homeless in your community or maybe it's something as simple as picking up your guitar that you haven't played in five years and strumming a few chords, right? If you're feeling stuck right now, then my advice would be try something new because if what you're doing isn't getting a result, if you're feeling stuck with where you're at in life right now, then pick up something different. Try the complete opposite of what you've been doing. Start waking up a little bit earlier. Start reading books that you haven't read this kind of book before. Think back to your education. What class did you really enjoy? Did you find history really interesting? Then maybe pick up some autobiographies or biographies of famous war generals or just some other famous icons of the past. Like start learning more, start feeding your mind more. Because as you continue to do new things and learn new things and adopt a new keystone habit, you'll think of different goals and different aspirations that you have for your life as you continue to improve yourself. Because taking care of yourself will cause you to find new things that you want to do. And on this journey of trying new things and adopting keystone habits and reading and maybe even waking up earlier, you're going to become a new person. Not a new person entirely, but you're going to become a new improved version of yourself. And this new improved version of yourself that you're working towards, I know you are because you're watching this video right now, this new improved version of you is going to want different things than the you five months ago, or even maybe a couple weeks ago, wanted. Because now you're taking a focus on you. And the most important thing I can recommend to you is adopt habits and routines and a lifestyle that supports you and causes you to feel better. Because when you feel better, you'll translate that emotion to every single person that you talk to in your days, your weeks, your months, all the people surrounding you. You become a natural born leader once you start taking care of yourself. That's why they call it leading by example. So adopt a new keystone habit. Try doing new things, things that you're passionate about, things that you enjoy doing. And the last tip that I'd recommend for you to help you get unstuck is to surround yourself with people who light your fire. Surround yourself with people who make you feel good when you're in their company, right? And when I say feel good, I'm not talking about doing drugs, right? And feeling good that way. I'm talking about naturally feeling good. People who bring up your level of energy. People who you might want to be like. Surround yourself with people who are the version of you that you want to be in the next six months. Ask yourself the question, if you're having trouble thinking of people you could spend time around, who do you want to become in the next six months? Who is the version of you that you want to be in the next year? 
It's a pretty abstract question that's going to cause you to have to visualize exactly what that looks like. But ask yourself that question as often as you need to because it is so important to know exactly who you are developing into. Because the thing is, remember, we talked about choice earlier. Whatever you decide to be, whoever you decide to become, however you want to improve, you will do so based on the decisions that you make. If you decide that you want to be a specific type of person, if you decide to become a certain version of yourself, then that's who you will become. We become what we think about most of the time. And that's why it's so important to define exactly what that is for you. And once you adopt the keystone habit, start doing new things, surround yourself with people who bring you up, who, who light your fire, then new goals and ideas will come into your life to help give you some direction. But the biggest takeaway I want you to get from this is to simply choose what direction you want to go in. In today's digital age of smartphones and computers and opportunity, there are countless directions we could choose. And really, it comes down to just picking one. Start somewhere. And as you make progress, continue to evaluate it and adjust your approach as need be. But don't worry. It's okay if you feel stuck right now. Just begin taking steps in a new direction. And within a short period of time, you'll begin to become somebody new, somebody who takes action, somebody who has a direction, and somebody who lives an extraordinary life. Now, if you click the first link in the description below, I wanna give you a free copy of my book called Be Extraordinary, Your Guide to Self-Mastery. Click the link, enter your email, I'll send you a digital copy of my book, which will help you to achieve self-mastery in your life. It talks about my fitness journey, which is the keystone habit I mentioned in this video, but it also talks about how I used that momentum to get myself out of debt, develop new relationships, and so much more. Just click the link, grab your copy. I know it will make a difference for you. If you haven't already, hit that like button if you found value from this video, and hit that subscribe button down here and hit the bell. That way you're notified of all new videos every single Monday. And until we talk again next time, continue to be better.